Okay, in the previous video, we set up our uh, tic-tac-toe game, and basically it's just nine buttons, uh, button one to nine, where we're going to have X's and O's, a uh, reset button and a start game button. And so one of the first things I want to do is set up the form load routine. And in the form load routine, it's a special feature of Visual Basic, and form load runs as soon as the program executes. And we often will use it to set up uh, resources. And so in the form load subroutine, how to get there is we'll go to the code view here. And if I select form events, I can scroll down here and the load event uh, is listed right here. And that's where form load is going to load up. And in this subroutine, what I want to do is change the text of all the nine buttons to be blank. So how do I do that? I want to go um, button one dot text equals uh, blank. And then I would need to do that for all of the other buttons. Uh, so button two, button three, button four, and so forth. And so um, I'm going to need to do this in several places. So what I'm going to do instead of just simply typing in all the buttons is I'm going to go above and make another sub. So I'm going to make a public sub uh, called uh, clear button text. And what I'm going to do is in that I will put button one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and uh, button nine text equals to uh, nothing and so in form load I can just say clear the button text and it will clear the button text great another thing I'm gonna need to do is um, disable the buttons and so I want when the form loads all the buttons to be not able to be clicked on because we haven't started playing the game yet so same thing i'm going to make another subroutine um to disable the buttons and it's going to be very similar i go button one dot enabled is false and then i'm going to do button two dot enabled is false and then I'm going to do the same for all the other buttons so button three button four button five button six button seven button eight button nine they're all disabled Great, so I've got a uh, subroutine here to disable the buttons, so that'll be the next thing I will do in um, the routine. Um, another thing I might want to do is I want to enable the start game button. So I'm going to say button uh, start game enabled is true. So I can start the game and uh, we're ready to uh, go. Okay, um, step number three, what I wanna do is create turns. I want player X to have a turn, player O to have a turn. And so in this one here, if I wanna do turns, um, one of the next things I'm gonna do here, let me just uh, minimize this. So uh, you can see inside my form, I've got the form and the end class of the form here. Um, if I go above all these subroutines that I've generated here, so I've got a subroutine to clear buttons, disable buttons, and load the form. But up here, uh, I want to make a global variable. So I'm going to create a global variable called player x turn. And it's either going to be true or false. So this global variable is going to track whose turn it currently is. Our intent here is to have the game button check whose turn it is and add an X or an O based on whose turn it was. 
Um, since we want to store only two states in this variable, we could use an integer and we could have values like zero for X uh, and one for O uh, or different numbers, I guess. Uh, or we could use a Boolean variable. And I think a Boolean variable makes more sense. So I can always just keep track of player X's turn and say player X's turn as Boolean. And I'm gonna set it to be true. Uh, we'll say X always starts. Uh, so there you go. So I've created a global uh, variable. The next thing I wanna do is I want to create uh, the code for the game board buttons. And what I'm gonna do here to create the code for the game board buttons is when I click on a uh, button, I want it to um, place an X if it's player's X turn. If it's not player's X turn, I wanna get it to place an O. Um, so how can I do that? Well, very simply, let's start with uh, button one here. And what I would do is I would say, if it's player X's turn, then I want to say the button's uh, text is equal to an X because uh, player X uh, played. And I'm going to say my display is going to now uh, switch uh, now it's player O's turn. Um, and then that's the if statement. Now what I could do here is I'm going to do an else if. It's not player X's turn. Then what I want to do is if it's not player X's turn, I want the button to display as an O. And I want it to say now it's player X's turn. And I'm gonna do this for all 10 buttons.